And even as Pakistan has allowed a designated terrorist to walk free, Switzerland has rejected the request of the exile leader of the Baloch Republican Party, Brahum Dag Bukti, for political asylum. Bukti tweeted that uh, the Swiss authorities had turned down his request after many years. Pakistan had been campaigning against the Baloch leader and Swiss immigration authorities had been sitting on the application. Bukti is reported to have sought asylum in India last year. We on spoke with him. And of course, uh, we spoke with Mr. Bukti earlier, as I was mentioning, he's the leader of the Baloch Republican Party. We uh, began by asking him the reason cited by Switzerland for rejecting his application. Uh, I really don't know exactly. Um, I will go into the details uh, after meeting my lawyer. But initially they said that they, reject, uh, they rejected my case. Uh, over the allegations of uh, Pakistani government and uh, that's all that our political party is also have some links with uh, another people who are fighting uh, um, guerrilla fighting in uh, Balochistan with Pakistani army for independence so I, this is uh, I think uh, totally nonsense we are struggling here for the last uh, couple of years and I, I am a president of a uh, Baloch Republican party so um, this really shocked me that uh, a country like Switzerland always pretend to be a neutral country, but at the same time only looking uh, and believing the allegations of Pakistani government. Pakistani government, uh, I think they are saying from the day one that uh, the Baloch and especially me, we are the terrorists and the uh, biggest, uh, most uh, dangerous terrorist uh, in the world. But I think this is the uh, this is their responsibility to uh, look some other details and and there are some other governments neighboring countries Afghanistan India Iran uh, and also there are thousands of human rights uh, organizations who who, report, uh, who are reporting and already reported so many times what that what Pakistani government is doing in Balochistan. Which kind of uh, uh, what kind of human rights violations are done by Pakistani army for last 10 years? So this is really uh, very shocking news uh, for me. I don't know exactly, but I think uh, for last uh, one and a half years we are just uh, trying to increase the political activities, especially in the Western world, in Geneva and in London and other parts of uh, European countries, to highlight the situation, to make some awareness campaigns, uh, make some, uh, making some side events with the uh, European Member of Parliament and some other diplomats and uh, in uh, US Congress. Uh, congressmen. So I think they are kind of uh, irritated and uh, frustrated, so they are just trying to pressurize Switzerland. Of course, definitely. Uh, Pakistan definitely, because they have mentioned in, the, in, the, uh, in their report uh, of uh, rejecting uh, my asylum uh, case, they said that there is an allegation from the Pakistani side. But okay, that's fine. But what we are saying, you have to uh, listen. What is the situation going on? But if uh, you only listen what the, only the Pakistan says, then doesn't make sense. Uh, make sense. We came here because we feel threatened in Pakistan. The, our political activities, our political activists have been killed. Hundreds of them are still missing. Some have been uh, tortured and uh, tortured to death. And what happened with my grandfather? What happened with my sister? My sister was killed in 2012. After uh, coming to Switzerland, after two years, my sister was killed and with her nine-year-old daughter. So these are all the things, these are also the facts. Why they are not looking into uh, the, uh, these facts? 